Good evening and welcome to this evening prayer on Sunday the 29th of March, which is Passion Tide Sunday. We'll have a few moments of stillness before we begin. We will be using our prayer booklet for this evening and we will begin on page 17. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. You that by the night stand, stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth give you blessing out of Zion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 30. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. I will exalt you, O Lord, because you have raised me up, and have not let my foes triumph over me. O Lord my God, I cried out to you, and you have healed me. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. You restored my life, me to life from among those that go down to the pit. Sing to the Lord, you servants of his. Give thanks to his holy name. For his wrath endures but the twinkling of an eye, his favour for a lifetime. Heaviness may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. In my prosperity I have said, I shall never be moved. You, Lord, of your goodness have made my hill so strong. Then you hid your face from me, and I was utterly dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cried. To the Lord I made my supplication. What profit is there in my blood if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you or declare your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing, and you have put, on, put off my sackcloth, and girded me with gladness. Therefore my heart sings to you without ceasing. O Lord my God, I will give you thanks for ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. Our Old Testament reading this evening is from the book of Lamentations, Chapter 3, starting at the 19th verse, going through to the 33rd verse. The thoughts of my afflictions and my homelessness is wormwood and gall. My soul continually thinks of it and is bowed down within me. But this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercy never comes to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul that seeks him. It is good that you should wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for one to bear the yoke in youth, to sit alone in silence when the Lord has imposed it, to put one's mouth to the dust, there may yet be hope, to give one's cheek to the smiter and to be filled with insults. For the Lord will not reject for ever. Although he causes grief, he will, he will have compassion, according to the abundance of his steadfast love. For he does not willingly affl afflict or grieve anyone. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our New Testament reading comes from the book of the, uh, sorry, the Gospel according to St. Matthew. Chapter 20, starting at the 17th verse and going through to the 34th verse. When Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve disciples aside to, by themselves and said to them on the way, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death. Then they will hang him over to, hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and flogged and crucified, and on the third day he will be raised. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came to him with her sons, and kneeling before him, she asked a favour of him, and he said to her, What do you want? She said to him, Declare that these two sons of mine will sit, 
one at your right hand and one at your left, in your kingdom. But Jesus answered, Do you not know what you do not know what you are asking? Are you able to drink the cup that I am about to drink? They said to him, We are able. He said to them, you, that you will indeed drink my cup, but to sit at my right hand and at my left, that is not mine to grant. But it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my Father. When the ten heard it, they were angry with the two brothers. But Jesus called to them to him and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones are tyrants over them. It will not be so amongst you. But whoever wishes to be great amongst you must be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first amongst you must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. As they were leaving Jericho, a large crowd followed him. There were two blind, blind men sitting by the roadside. When they heard that Jesus was passing by, they shouted, Lord, have mercy on us, son of David. The crowd sternly ordered them to be quiet, but they shouted even more loudly, Have mercy on us, Lord, son of David. Jesus stood still and called to them, saying, What do you want me to do for you? They said, Lord, have, let our eyes be opened. Moved with compassion, Jesus touched their eyes. Immediately they regained their sight and followed him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It's interesting how Jesus t talks about those who are ruling over others. And there are those who wish to be great and to elevate themselves. But true leadership comes not from making yourself more important or bigger than anybody else, but through kindness, compassion and love. This is the model which Jesus shows to us. Indeed, if you think forward to Maundy Thursday, we see Jesus humbling himself by washing the feet of the disciples. This is the Son of God who is doing the task of a servant or a slave. We see Jesus lowering himself to show compassion and love to others. And, just, and he, it's not just words for him. It is action as well. In that last section we hear, uh, it says, Jesus was moved with compassion and he healed them. He didn't do it out of obligation. He didn't do it out of some sense of duty. He had compassion. We need to have compassion. There's not enough of it in this world. We're too quick to blame, too quick to, to, uh, you know, to point the finger. We need to show love to all who we deal with. We have our model, we have our Jesus Christ to show us the way. We must action it. It is not just about me speaking or, or anybody else using kind words. It is about showing that love in practical manners. And it's, the, it's that wonderful saying which is attributed to St Francis of Assisi. Preach the gospel. Use words when you have to. The gospel is there before us. The gospel is one of love, care, compassion of showing kindness to others. We need to preach the gospel. Just you only use words when you absolutely have to. So let us come to our canticle. You have done great things, O God, and holy is your name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant, from this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. You have done great things, O God, and holy is your name. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for the day that has been. We give thanks for all the times you have been with us. We give thanks for all those who have held services for Archbishop Justin, for Bishop Stephen, Bishop Allen, for Rod. 
We pray for all those worshipping communities who do so remotely, who though are separate are together. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, we pray for those who are affected by the coronavirus. We pray especially for those who are, are unwell, for those who are, are self-isolating or in quarantine, for those who are shielding, for those in hospital, and for those who have died. We pray for and give thanks for the work of our NHS, for the doctors, nurses, carers, paramedics, and all those who are working to give help to others. We pray too for the work of the Combrook Care Group and for the Datchet Corona Volunteers, for their work feeding those who are in need, for the kindness and love that they show to others, for the selflessness which they show. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for peace in this world, for an end of violence and suffering. We pray particularly for those who are the victims of domestic violence, for those who run the shelters, for those who are being abused, for those who live in refugee camps, for those who are fleeing violence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, we pray for those who are sick in mind, body and spirit. We pray especially for those who are reaching the end of their lives and those who have recently lost their lives. Lord, look with compassion on all those who are mourning at this time. Send your healing love upon them. Help them to know that you have the care of their loved ones, that they are safe, remade in your image. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of glory, by the raising of your Son, you have broken the chains of death and hell. Fill your church with faith and hope, for a new day has dawned, and the way to life stands open in our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. So let us unite our prayers with those of the whole company of heaven. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Could I invite you to please um, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. More videos will be going on to there as well as on to Facebook. But if you subscribe then you will get alerts just letting you know when new messages have been added. If you have any particular prayer requests, please do email me or text or message me and are happy to, to try and include those prayers in our prayer sessions. And until we can see each other again, God bless, stay safe, and good night.